línea no, no la pude. Pero en el, el caso. Decía, ¿Sí? En el caso. De... Guardado, eso. Creo que. Para lo del tercer. Este, bueno, los que están teniendo problemas técnicos, espero que puedan, no sé si están en el grupo de WhatsApp, eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp está nuestra técnica a cargo, ella es Flor, si no me equivoco, es Sánchez, eh, pueden solicitar uh, ayuda con ella y ella pues les puede resolver, no sé si tienen acceso a eso. Flor Sánchez. Flor Sánchez, eh, les voy a compartir el número quizás en el grupo de WhatsApp al final de la clase. Again. Um, wow, chicos, este sí ha sido el día. Sí. La tormenta aquí se está poniendo bien terrible eso. Very, very strange. Porque, bueno, estos días ha estado lloviendo y no, no me ha dado ningún problema. Entonces siento como que cuando comparto, se me corta. So, voy a tratar de actualizar acá, chicos. Give me one second, please. Give me one quick second. A veces deshabilitar la cámara ahorra el ancho de banda del internet. Eso le iba a comentar. Lo de la cámara, ¿verdad? Sí, solo se quede compartiendo pantalla. Bueno, vamos a intentarlo de esa forma. Bueno. Give me one second. All right, let's be positive, people. Vamos a ser positivos. <laughs> let's be positive and let's try to do it this way. Bueno, le voy a pedir disculpas por no usar la cámara. Right, we're gonna try this way. Hopefully it works. Let me share my screen one more time. Hopefully it doesn't, doesn't cut. Porque ya me sacó dos veces. Incredible. Nunca me había pasado eso. Your internet is bad. Maybe. That's what Flor told me. That my internet may, may be the problem. No, pero si hubiera sido eso, no me hubiera pasado antes. Right? En los días anteriores. Pero no. Hasta ahora. Ok. Needless to uh, discuss, let's continue with the class. Can you visualize my screen? Yes. Yes. Se ve borrosa. Okay. Let me try to. Oh my God, es que está. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Here we go. Let's scratch up. Yes. Oh, you're a really good. Let's get started by listening. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life session, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, remember that play is different than watch. Play is when you practice. Watch is when you watch on television, right? So it's different than you say, I play soccer, then I watch soccer. Okay, let's repeat the conversation, repeat. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? What do you do? What do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Repeat, I love sports. 
Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Really? What sport do you like? Pronounce the S. Sports. Deportes. Sports. 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 Really? What sports do you like? Really? What sports do you like? Do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Baseball and soccer are my favorite. Okay. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Wow, you are really, you are really good. You are a really good athlete. You are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? When do you, when do you play, play all these sports? When do you play all these sports? When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I don't play these sports. I don't, I don't play, play. I, don't I just watch them on television. I just watch them on television. Okay, so I have some questions for you. Uh, does Justin play or watch sports? That Justin watch sports. He watches sports. He only watches sports. He doesn't play hockey. He doesn't play baseball. He doesn't play soccer. He just watch on television. So, so mm -hmm. he is not a good athlete. Uh, uh, Lauren thought that Justin was a good athlete, but no, he's not really a good athlete because he only watches the sports on television. What about you guys? Do you watch or do you play sports? What? I watch sports. I play sports. All right. Watch. If you watch a sports... What sports do you watch? And if you play sports, what sports do you play? I don't play a sport and neither watch. You don't watch a sports either, Ingrid? No. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, because, because women prefer to watch all their things, right? Like <laughs> movies, like novels. Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? What sport do you play or watch? I watch football and tennis. Okay, great, Rosario. Thank you. What about you guys? What sports do you play or what sports do you watch? For I example, me? Uh huh. Candy, go ahead. Um, I watch soccer and bike. You go bike riding? Yes. Say, I go I bike riding. Bike riding. And do you watch any sports, Candy? Uh, maybe. The selection. Soccer, right? The select. Are you watch soccer? What about you, William? Do you watch or do you play any sports? I practice taekwondo. Nice. And do you watch any sports? Yes, it's the soccer. I play. I watch the soccer. Ah, or or I play. I watch or I, I play. play. I play basketball and soccer. Nice, nice, nice. Let's continue. I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Y cuando él dice, I just, ese just es como simplemente o solamente, ¿verdad? I just watch them on television. Solo los veo. Simplemente los veo, dice. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. 
How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, check it out. We have different WH questions. What sports do you play? Repeat, what sports do you play? What, what sport, sport, sport do you, do you play? play? What Who? Sport. Who do you play baseball with? Who, Who do, do you play baseball with? Esa es trabadita, ¿verdad? Ese who, de quién, right? Y al final va la preposición with, con Z. With. Yeah. Who do you play baseball with? Who do you play, who do you, who do you play baseball, baseball with? with? Excelente. ¿Otra vez? Who do you play who do you play baseball with? Yo les digo, ah, I play soccer. Who do you play soccer with? Yes? Right. Yes. Play? Yes. I play basketball. What sport do you play? Who yeah, you... I play basketball. Who do you play basketball with? Correct. Who do you play basketball with? Con quién jugas? Repeat. Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? El lugar, verdad? Donde? How often? Repeat. How often how do you practice? Long? Do you practice? How often do you practice? ¿Qué tan frecuente? How often do you practice? How often do you How often practice? Do you practice? Ahí tenemos que dar una frecuencia, right? Como una vez, dos veces. Una vez se dice once. We practice once. Una vez a la semana, once a week. Repeat, once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Yes. Once a month. Dos veces, ¿cómo se dice dos veces? Twice. 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 Se dice twice. Acá está. Twice. Twice a week. Twice. Pueden decir a month, right? Twice a month. Dos veces al, al mes, right? Ya tres veces, ¿cómo se dice tres veces? Third. Y ahí sí usamos el número, ¿ok? Three times. Three, Three times. times. Por ejemplo, podemos decir three times a week. ¿Qué quiere decir? Tres veces a la semana. Una vez a la semana, once a week. Dos veces, twice a week. Tres veces, three times. Cuatro veces, four times. Y así vamos. When, ¿cuándo? When do you practice? Repeat, when do you practice? When do you practice? When do you practice? Cuando? Ah, we practice on Sundays. We practice on Saturdays. Fíjense la preposición que van a usar con el día. Es on. On Fridays. El día lo damos en plural. On Saturdays. Okay? What time do you start? ¿A qué horas inicias? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. We start at 1 p.m. Okay? All right, <laughs> students interview teacher Kalev, okay? Students interview teacher Kalev. What is the first question for me? What is for you play? Repeat, 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 everybody, what repeat. For you play? Polish that pronunciation, it's sports. What sports, sports. do you play? What sports, sports. 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 What sports, sports. do you play? Entonación de pregunta. Otra vez. Three, two, one, go. What, what sports do you play? Ah, well, me, I play soccer. Next question. Who do you play soccer with? Todos, todos, todos. Vamos, Mayra, todos. Who do you play soccer with? 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 Excelente, William. Todos, todos. Who do you play soccer with? Who do you play soccer with? Ah, so play I play soccer, soccer with? with my co-workers. ¿Saben qué es play? eso? Compañeros de trabajo. Correcto. I play soccer with my co-workers. Next question. 
Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Okay. Where do you play at Cafetalon? Where do you play? In Santa Tecla City. Yes. How often do you play? How often do you play? Everybody, how often? How often do you practice? Often. Con F. Often. How often do you practice? Ooh, I practice soccer maybe once a month, once or twice a month. Yes. When do you practice? Next. When? What time do you? Wait, wait, wait. It's when. When? When do you practice? When do you practice? Well, we practice on Fridays or Sundays. Next question. What time, what time, do, you what time do you play? Do you start? Repeat, guys. What, what time do you start? What time do you start? We start at five start. in the afternoon. All right. Okay. Do you understand? All right. All right. <laughs> Vamos a entrevistar entonces a Let's Interview Edson Hernandez. All right. Everybody, first question. First question. What sport do you play? Again, repeat, everyone, repeat. What sport do you play? What sport? 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 do you play? What sport? What sport? What sport? What sport? You play soccer? Okay. Next yes. question, people. Who? Who do you play? Who do you play? Who do you play? play? Who do you play? Is that baseball? He said soccer. Who play soccer? Who do you play soccer with? Who do you play soccer with? Who do you play soccer with? Who do you Excelente pronunciación. ¿Cómo le queda esa pregunta, Mayra Alvarado? Um, oh, oh. ¿Cuál teacher? Oh, oh, oh. Mm, vamos a well, ver Nancy. ¿Está uh, conmigo Nancy Hernández? En Ajá, que no se entiende la, cuando pronuncian así todo de un solo, no se entiende cuál es. No se entiende cuál es. Estamos en la segunda. Uh -huh. Who? You... No, la pronunciación de los demás compañeros no se entendió. Oh, la ah, la no se entendió. <risa> okay, 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 okay. Who do you? Who do you? Acuérdense que ahí tratamos de usar re reduction, ¿verdad? Para que suenen nativo. Ustedes pueden decir, who do you play? Así, tal cual, ¿verdad? Who do you play soccer with? O reducido. Who do you play soccer with? Who do you play soccer with, Edson? I, I play soccer with uh, friends. With my friends. Um, Repeat, with my friends. With my, with my, with my friends. friends. All right, all right. Next question, class. Where? Where do you play? Where do you play? Francisco, repeat the question. Francisco Mena. Where do you play? Where do you play? Repeat, where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? We play... En, se dice? On the street. Eh, on the street, canchitas así de. Soccer field. Rápido. Soccer okay, field. Rápido. In the soccer we field. Play, we play soccer field. In the, In the soccer, soccer field. field. En la canchita, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. All okay. right. We la play charamusca, ¿verdad? In the soccer field. <laughs> All right, <laughs> next question. How? How often do you practice? How often is Omaira? How often do you practice? We practice all day, all, all weekend. Every weekend. Every, every weekend. We practice 
every weekend. Muy bien. Next, when. When do you practice? practice? When do you practice? Bueno, esa casi ya no la respondió, ¿verdad? When do you practice, Edson? When do you practice? Where do you when we practice, we practice, um, no, I practice on um, Sunday. Mm -hmm. On Sundays. Nos acostumbramos Sunday. ahí a usar Sundays. la preposición on, o n on, antes del día. Y el día lo vamos a dar en plural. En este caso, on Sundays. Sundays. Okay. Last question, last question. What time do you start? What time do you start? Muy bien. What time do you start? We start at five o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect. Perfect. Vamos a ver una pequeña dinámica acá con estas preguntas. What, um, you need to identify the question. Identify the question. I'll give you the answer. Yo les doy la respuesta. Here's the answer. I go bike riding with my brother. Let me repeat, let me repeat. No me nota si necesario. I go bike riding with my brother. Uh, who do you go? Who do you go by riding with? Yes. Who do you go by riding with? Excelente. Next, next, next. I go by riding. What sports do you play? Yes. Sports do you play? Yes. Okay. We start at 2 p.m. What time do you start? What time do you start? What time do you start? Very well. Deme la entonación de pregunta, okay? What time do you start? Esa entonación les va a hacer ustedes sonar más entendible. What time do you start? Next. We practice twice a week. When do you practice? How often do you practice? How often? Frequency. How often do you practice? How often? Okay. We practice in the park. When do you practice? Good job. Good job. Congratulations, guys. Let's continue. Morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus who or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. This is a very important formula, guys. Siempre apunten las fórmulas, right? It's gonna allow you to speak correctly. WH word, do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Now. Um, I... The example, where do you play? Please. The WH word is where, then we add the auxiliary verb, do. After that, we add the subject, you. Next, we add the verb, play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because 
from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it Ok, guys, esta parte es algo confusa, right? Porque cuando nosotros vamos a preguntar en inglés con quién, quién va al inicio, que es who, y con, que es with, va al final de la pregunta. ¿Ya se fijaron en eso? Um, si es difícil de esa forma para ustedes, eh, podemos escribir tal cual nosotros preguntamos en español. ¿Con quién, verdad? Si quieren hacerlo de esa manera, pueden usar esta forma. With whom, solo que ellos serían whom, con M. With whom do you play baseball? With whom do you uh, go by riding? With whom do you play soccer? Okay. Uh, sin embargo, la forma más común es acá. Who do you play soccer with? And so on. Okay. It's correct and formal okay, to but... express yourself like this. So, to understand the question, who do you play baseball with, let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb. Do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work and understand who do you play with without adding baseball. plus the verb, plus express yourself like this. So yeah. in English is, who do you play baseball with? Okay, uh, we're going to practice a little bit with these the other uh, ways formulas. By saying, we're gonna kind of um, enjoy these last five minutes of classes. Los voy a dejar como dos minutos, un minuto creo yo, porque entre tarde, guys, Vamos a cerrar a las y dos, ok, para que no nos afecten el tiempo. So, let's have a little conversation. Let me see if I can activate my camera. Hopefully I don't cut the video again. Um, so, questions, WH questions. Let's practice WH questions. What sports do you play or watch? Yes. What movies pueden hacer generales? Questions, general questions. For example, uh, what movies do you watch, right? What music do you listen to? What sports do you play? What um, kind of food do you like? Repeat, Ingrid. What kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? Excellent. Okay. Um, well, I like uh, pasta. I like pasta. What podría ser la siguiente pregunta? What do you like pasta? Mm. How do you, how, how much? How do you like it? Okay, how do you like it? I love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. ¿Quién puede hacer una pregunta con who? I like pasta. Who? 
who um, who do you um, take? Vamos clase, ahí vamos. <laughs> who do you who do you, who do you eat Buenos pasta? Días. Falta algo. Who do you eat pasta with? Muy bien. Cada quien puso un pedacito. All right. Who do you eat pasta with? Repeat. Who do you eat pasta? Who do you eat pasta? Pasta with. with. Sí, empezamos con el WH word who. Después el auxiliar do. Who do. Después el subject you. Who do you. Luego necesitamos escoger el verbo. Right, Candy? Ahí eh, titubeamos con take. Podría ser have en este caso o podría ser eat. Right? Who do you eat pasta with? Who do you drink coffee with? Who do you eat? Who do you drink coffee with? Very well. Um, how often? Can you make a question with how often? Who do you? No, no, no. How, how often? often do you eat pasta? Correct. How often do you eat pasta? Yo quiero que entrevistemos a Andy Colato. Vamos a ver, guys, ¿qué pregunta podemos hacerle con what? What? What sport do you play? Okay, Miss Andy Colato, what sports do you play or watch? I play soccer. Okay, next. Uh, Who? Uh, how often do you play soccer? Okay, how often do you play soccer, Andy? Twice a week. Twice a week, okay, good. ¿Quién puede hacer la cono? Ajá, Candy, go. How do you like it? How do you like it? Uh, I love it. You love it. <laughs> Guys, thank you for your patience. It's not a good day today. This is the day of the internet problems. Tomorrow is the final day. Así que vamos a tratar de correr en esa hora. Primero Dios que no esté lloviendo. Para poder culminar, okay? Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. see you. Bye-bye. Be safe.